Guess what I found? A way to run up to four monitors on your M1 or your M2 MacBook. I initially made a video on that right over here, but wait, before you check that option out, you probably want to see this. A company called Mini Sapuru saw that video as well, but they had a much cleaner solution that I want to show you today. It's one hub, no dongles, no extra adapters that are needed. I have it right here, and you and I are going to go through this together to see how well it performs. Hey friends, my name is JAI, and I make videos on the technology in our lives and how we can use it to make our lives easier. If that sounds good to you, come on and let's kick it on this journey. Now to be completely transparent with you, Mini Sapporo reached out to me and said, hey, we saw your video, but we think this solution will work a lot better. We'll send it over to you and you can make that decision, no strings attached. So I'm going to give you my completely unbiased opinion here. Unboxing the unit and just getting a feel of the dock already gives me a lot of confidence that this is going to be a high quality, solid device. The form factor is excellent and much smaller than the current Lenovo dock that I use. I talk a little bit about that dock in my previous video, but let's ignore that completely because this is the ultimate dock that you will need moving forward. We have ports around the front and the back, but let's go ahead and take a deeper look at the back itself. As promised, we have three input options for displays. We have HDMI for one monitor, DisplayPort for the second monitor, and finally, either HDMI or DisplayPort for the last monitor. That's a total of three monitors that we get. You can't use both inputs for the third monitor to get a fourth monitor, if that's what you were thinking. Not a problem. Three is more than enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, well, That's I was enough. gonna ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon. We also have a dedicated ethernet port and a USB-C port for whatever you would like to use. This port here with the computer icon, yeah, that's to hook up to your MacBook with the included Thunderbolt cable. On the front, we have two USB 3.2 generation one ports. You can use hubs for these ports to further your expansion. We have a single USB-C port as well, and of course, a headphone jack and two USB 2.0 ports. That is a lot of connectivity options for your MacBook or your PC. All right, cool. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's hook this up. I have two HDMI cables and one DisplayPort cable that I'm going to hook up to these monitors. Everything seems to work perfectly smooth and there's no stutter or delay when moving from one monitor to the next. Now just a reminder, you don't need any extra adapters to make this setup work. All you need is this dock. The best part of this implementation is that it's super low profile, so it'll fit on top or under any desk setup. I've been looking for something similar for such a long time now, and even though I MacGyvered a solution that was mentioned in this video, I don't have to use those unnecessary adapters anymore. MacGyver away! The DisplayLink compatible hardware is actually built into this dock. If you don't know what DisplayLink is, I'll link to the video right over here so that it gives you a little bit more understanding of what that is and how it's beneficial to running multiple monitors on your MacBook. If you're looking for this dock, please check out the links down below because I have the best prices on Amazon for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was informative for you. My name is JAI, thank you for kicking it with me, and we'll see you in the next one.